this is what's the tea, and we are with Shelly Shepard, uh, AJ from Extra is interviewing her right now. It's the Oscars, we got nerves and anticipation, but we're gonna get her, see what she's up to, what's going on today, and we'll be with her right back. Are you, are you ready for it all? Yes, I am ready for it, fashion wise. I got Irma Rock Ball behind me, who designed my gown, so I'm good to go. Okay. All right. You guys, giving you a life like that on the sitcom, is there a down to that you fight not across? No, you know me. You watch me in my career, you know, I talk about it. Right, right. It's going to make you laugh and make you feel better. I'm so game to talk about it. Until the judge tells me to write another album on the check, then I'll shut up. Okay, listen, thank you. We'll see you in LA. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, this is Chance. We are traveling to the Oscars. We are in New York City. Just spoke to Sherry. We're going to travel to LA, speak to Monique, speak to Lee Daniels and Gabby, and see what the cast is up to. And of course, what they will be wearing. This is what's the tea. This is what's the tea. We're here with a little chips and fast on. How are you today? I'm doing well. Good. Thank you for stopping by What's the Tea. So Oscars, nerves, anticipation, what's your feelings? What's going wow. to be uh, Wow. <laughs> That's a uh, first time coming out. Okay. I'm excited. It's a very surreal feeling. Okay. Um, and at the same time, it's something I've been wor working towards. So. Right. During your first role, did you see this coming? What what did you envision by having to be acting on? I did see it. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, you know, this is this is what I really work for, what I strive for. Right. You know, to be a talented actor. Right. And uh, so I actually had this on my vision board. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you know, good. About good. a year ago. Oh yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. It's no secret. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> they do say part of getting there is you have to actually see it so you know where you're, where you're moving to. Yeah, I, I, I actually do a lot of creative visualization and, and, okay. and with clarity I, I see where it is I want to be. Okay. And you know, I don't know how the details are going to work themselves out, but, right, right, but right. Uh, I keep action behind that. Exactly. So when did you first envision being an actor? Wow, it was um, like five years ago. And I, I mean, I never even thought about acting, but I was working in radio, mm -hmm. and this one uh, coworker, she had some headshots. But at the time, I thought she had some really big, vain pictures of herself. I thought she was right. conceited <laughs> or something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, what are you doing? I mean, seriously. Uh, but she told me they were headshots and explained she wanted to be an actress, mm -hmm. and boom. Right. I mean, it literally hit me like that, and I've been going at it ever since. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're very proud of your accomplishments. Yes. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Bad Lieutenant. Wow. Working with Nicolas Cage, Eva right. Mendez. Exactly. And Nicolas Cage saying that you're ready for Hollywood. Wow. You know, uh, when somebody of that caliber mm -hmm. gives you that kind of compliment, yeah. uh, it's kind of confirmation that, that you're on the right path and, and you're, you're living your purpose. And that was so much fun. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, I can I'm, imagine. Yeah, I'm going toe to toe with Nicky Cage. <laughs> right, right, and I'm like, and I'm sitting there, you know, I'm like, I'm really doing it. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. And so that was a really fun, talented guy, yes. wonderful guy, very kind. Okay. Uh, and uh, I had the greatest time. I had the greatest time. I got to mention the director, Werner Herzog, uh, an absolute actor's director. You know, if there is a pool of snakes and that you're supposed to get in, he'll get in first. Exactly. You know, so great time. So how long did it take shooting the whole movie? You know, they shot that in like 28 days. Okay. In and out. Wow. Yeah, the director doesn't play. He knows what he wants. He sees the vision. Uh, 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 right. Done. So, so tell me about day one. Were you nervous? Just going to the set. How, how did day one go? Because I know day two and three, it got easier and better mm -hmm. as you all connected. What was day one like? Believe it or not, day one was, I was ready for it. Okay. You know, because, I mean, the character I was playing, you know, was somebody who just, you know, you don't care, it'd take you out in a minute. Mm -hmm. So I, I took that on set with me. You know, I didn't even want to meet Nicolas Cage. So in that aspect, it came pretty easy, but when it was over, 
<laughs> That's when I was like, <laughs> it was, it was so, uh, so it, it, it was easy. I don't want to say it was easy, but I was just prepared. Right. And 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 that made it so much easier. But okay. it was the aftermath when it settled in. Right. What I just did. Yeah. What I, I just did and drove home. I just cursed Nicholas Cage out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, was like, wow, there anything that? specific that you did to prepare for the role? Yeah, you know, um, I, I've been in acting class for about, you know, four and a half years, so uh, I was definitely into character. I created the character, took bits and pieces of, of myself coming up in, in New York, and, right. and, you know, so it wasn't really something that was outside of myself, mm -hmm. but I was able to channel that into that character, and so, and, and I guess it worked out. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so I want to talk about that you're on the Lifetime Network. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. She's building so your family. Yeah. Okay. The family is female. I know you have a million right now. Hello, man. Yes. <laughs> so tell us about your role. That was another fun role. That was, uh, I got to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another big star, Julia Ormond, yes. you know, from the Curious Case of Benjamin Buttons. Uh, and, wow, that was, that, that was really fun. And another role that they said, man, you, you, just, you just made it. Right. But really working in that character, it was really, it was, it was just fun. Because in, in that aspect, it was a lot of, yeah, it just, it just be you. Just, you know, bring, bring, bring Lucius to the character. Mm -hmm. But that was a lot of fun. Shot in New Orleans, I mean, I'm sorry, in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And people were so nice there. People on set. Some people thought I was Eddie Murphy, but I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> we was actually taking him out and be like, Eddie Murphy's <laughs> down in the cabin down there. And I was like, what? <laughs> no, no, it's just me. But uh, that that was another exciting role to be on Lifetime Movie Network. Like I said, that was right after Bad Lieutenant. So it was just like a, a, a double bang. You know? right. so, so really, really uh, a huge blessing. Right. Yeah. So moving forward in your career, let's go, I don't know, five years down the line. What would you say a dream role for you would be? If you could create it yourself. Uh, you know, I would really love to tell a story of a young boy in love with okay. a high school sweetheart and showing those, those nuances or nuances right. of love at that young age because people don't understand that love is love regardless right. of the age but to show that dynamic of a relationship and how it relates to the family yes. and how it relates to where you are and how you come up I would really love to tell that kind of story kind of like a like a sandlot yeah. from right. where I come from gotcha you know? yes 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 because sandlot I came up that way but I would love to tell that story right. mm -hmm. that'd be fun because I got a lot of friends and be some wonderful characters. characters yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that would base, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Tell me about walking in the room, meeting Tyler Perry. Meeting those executives was that nerve-wracking. How did that how did that feel to you? Because I think I would just be like you what? Because <laughs> when you walk on set, it's like Universal Studios, right. first of all. I'm right. like, am I in Orlando? Right. And, 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 and you see this magnificence, and you, and you see that, man, this guy created this. Right. And, and that was another one that I had my Ebony Magazine yes. a year ago, seriously, mm -hmm. you know, on the trip and everything, and got the chance to, to be invited to work with him. That, wow, the entire set, the entire crew. Right. They're phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They got the so quick. Right. They do it so fast. But what I really enjoyed was how they did a, a, a spiritual prayer circle at the beginning of the day. Oh, wow. And that set such a wonderful tone to work in. Mm -hmm. such, such, it just made it easier for anyone involved, especially for the first time like me, you know, just showing up. Right. 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 You know, I'm do it. <laughs> uh, but that, that was really Okay. And that, that was it was like working with family. Oh, okay. close family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Family like they enjoy it. So what do you see yourself doing in the future? Who would you like to work with? Oh my man, that's that's a long list. I really mm -hmm. didn't give that all you want, but uh the Denzel Washington's the uh 
uh, the Wesley Snipes, the, the Don Cheadle, uh, the Angela Bassett's. I mean, there's so much phenomenal talent out there that I'm, I'm hoping they stick around a little longer so right. I get a, an opportunity to work with them. Mm -hmm. You know, e even present day, I mean, I, shoot, I would love to work with Dave Chappelle. I would love to work, you know, love to work with Eddie Murphy. I mean, there's just so many right. uh, that, that are positive role models that I would love to work with. Shoot, Brad Pitt. What's up? Right. Exactly. <laughs> you heard him. You know, how about, how about your boy? Now, yeah. one, of the, one of the things that we advocate on this show is hard work. Yeah. We have viewers that are going to look at you and want to be in your shoes and are working towards it. What sort of advice would you give someone trying to get into this game and maybe not think it's possible? You know, it's it's belief is everything. Okay. If you if you walk out the door and you're telling yourself no, mm -hmm. then then it's going to be no. Right. I mean, you you truly create your own path. And if you're telling yourself, hey, I believe I can do this, you will do it. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, for me, it was like when I finally figured out what my purpose was, because we don't all figure that out at the same time. Right. You know, we do a lot of things on purpose, okay. but when I started <laughs> doing things with purpose, right. that changed everything for me. Okay. You know, that there's a big picture. You know, okay. I, I'm not in the acting game just to entertain. I'm in the acting game because I, I want to serve. I want to do things that bring joy to people's lives. You know, I want to give back. Right. So, so I say if you go out and, and you believe and you are consistent and persistent, even though there'll be times that uh, you have self-doubt, stick around people that support you, that bring out the best in you, and that keep positive influence on you. Because loyal, that's gonna, yeah, and loyal, and, that, and that, that will get you through the rough times and keep you focused on what it is you'd like to do. Mm -hmm. right. Wow, we appreciate that. I know. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you need to get it. <laughs> you got to write that down. Right? <laughs> so what's a typical life in Lucia, a typical day in Lucia's life? When he's not at the act, like, what do you do? Oh, wow. Typical I, day. I actually love, I, lo I love real estate. Oh, really? Yeah, awesome. yeah, okay. that, that's another passion of mine. Uh, I love to buy and sell homes. And, wow. Uh, wow. And, nice. and I like to help people out because in this market, the way it is. Right. So uh, I, I just really have a joy for that. I, nice. <laughs> you know, it's, you know but, nice. I, but I enjoy it. Nice, yeah. yeah. So that's what I do. So have you bought any big ticketed items like if you took mom something or? You know, that's all coming, man. That's, that's coming. I, I, I want to bring it down where I'm at, you yeah. know. Right. And, and take care of her and let her have no worries. Yeah. And, and be there, you know, right. as a loving son. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm really looking forward to embracing the things that I'm going to be able to do with us on this journey that I'm, that I'm on. Mm -hmm. Right. So tell us about future projects that you have in mind. Future projects, you know, I was down. I'm still looking to get on Tremaine, which is Dave Simon's one, yeah. The Wire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still trying to get on there. Right. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, that's being shot in New Orleans, and, and that's going to be an exciting series. Um, I was just in talks to get on a uh, movie that Terrence Howard is getting ready to start uh, okay. starring in. So, you know, so I'm, I'm picking and choosing, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and I'm really looking forward to getting into some good projects. So, so right now, just negotiations and looking at things. Right. right. Mm -hmm. What I love is you're picking and choosing, not just right. settling. Mm -hmm. You, you really hit a big point there because yeah. even when we were talking about even if you're just starting out right. you still have the option to choose what you do you don't have to take any old garbage that's coming at you mm -hmm. just because you want to act mm -hmm. you know you stay stay true to who you are and that'll get you through a lot so that, that picking and choosing we always have a choice right. always we always. always have a choice <laughs> so Lucius we want to thank you so much for being here yeah, it's a pleasure so we learned a lot from you yeah. we look forward to seeing big things from you. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thank so you. much. I, I, thanks for having me. You guys are wonderful and you guys are nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank Good. you. But I, I want to reference how you look. You look amazing. Oh. Now, so. he needs to take some can you teach us? Whoa. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to put you on the like that, man. Wow. That's about the second thing she said. You need to learn. I don't know what's up with that, but hey. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to stay humble and keep my mouth shut. You know, don't want to go too far. But listen, we're going to go over to Veronica, who's at the New York Palace, and let's see what the Oscars over there.